The 2022 NCAA tournament was a first for all of the buffs, but it was a first for Tamia Sadler in some non-traditional roles. Today in practice, I was behind the camera today. I was the one taking the pictures. It was a good practice. It's coach, ref, photographer, cheerleader, anything you can name of. I do the clock. I think I did. I think I handled that really well. The then sophomore guard missed the postseason due to injury, but would never miss an opportunity to lift some spirits. It kind of made me feel sad just because I wanted to be out there with everyone, but it made me happy just to know that I could still be a presence around them. Now, as a healthy member of a team whose stock is on the rise, Sadler continues to provide a promising spark. She kind of just brings that like energy to the table that just gives everybody room to breathe, smile, take a breath. Um, and just have fun while we're doing what we do. I think that with the minutes that Tamia plays, when she does show out, people are like, well, where did that come from? But that's what she is. But Sadler wants to turn that spark into a flame. It feels nice to be a spark. Everyone knows me as a spark, but I feel like I want to be more of like a, a dominant piece. A final dominant piece to the puzzle, hopefully lifting the buffs out of the first round for the first time since 2003. And it was disappointing that I couldn't be there last year, but I want everybody to know like I'm, I'm fully in, I'm committed this year, and, and I'm ready to make some noise this year in the tournament. In Boulder, Ariel Orsuto. Three, one, two, three, Buff. Nine News.